Now, you boys can get on out of here. I don't want to have no more to do with you. Scaring a poor, unfortunate creature like Billy just so as you could have a few laughs. I've been around that trashy behavior all my life. I'm getting tired of putting up with it. Now, you can stay out of this pool hall, out of my cafe and my picture show, too. I don't want no more of your business. apologizing to you. Why am I always apologizing to you, you little bastard? Three months I've been apologizing to you without you even being here. I haven't done anything wrong. Why can't I quit apologizing? She came into my empty life and changed it. And I paid her back by banging her sister in a hotel room. God, I'm despicable. What a cruel and shallow thing to do. I have to call her now and tell her what we did was crazy. It can't ever happen again. I'm not that kind of man. And I value Hannah too much. I love my wife. Now I betrayed her. Oh, God. Now, although it's put an end to the Stanislavski Catering Company, which is why I have to speak to you. And you're going to get impatient, but... I have to borrow some more money. Well, that, that's fine. But what I decided to do is some writing. Yeah, I think I've had it with acting. You know, these meaningless auditions, the cattle calls, and I can't handle another rejection. You know, let's face it here. I've got to, you know, latch on to something in my life, you know. Something with a future. I'm not 16 anymore. So young, like when everything was in front of you, everything was just, everything was just, it was in front of you. Mm -hmm. And then, fades and you gotta get high again. We're not talking about his trainer, sweetheart. We're talking about his manager, that's me. Yeah, but, Mom, maybe Mickey should try something different. What are you doing opening your mouth in my kitchen? You owe me $200. I said I was going to pay you next week. I don't want another word out of you. That was last month you told me two weeks. Did you take sides against me in my own house? You owe me money? I mean, even if we don't charge you with fraud, we'll most certainly have to fine you for gross negligence. You can go. I weigh 207 pounds. I'm six feet one and one half inches tall on my bare feet without shoes on, and that's what I weigh straight. Oh, my goodness. It's awe-inspiring. Well, my weight is not a very interesting subject to talk about. You didn't need to be so cruel to someone as alone as she is. That delicate article she is. She is. She was. You didn't know Blanche as a girl. Nobody, nobody was as tender and as trusting as she was. But people like you abused her and forced her to change. Oh,
wanted to be a serious writer. That's what I like. That's what we work for. I don't know what happened, but you better tear that up. Not that it's bad. It's just not good enough. Not for you. She's fat. She's handsome. She's very healthy. She's nearly one year old. And I don't even mind that she looks like my mother. <laughs> I'll take care of her. Oh, I won't stay away long. I can't last much longer in Europe. The crutches make me too noticeable. When gong sound, it is done. And then she, she will bind her body. Bind her body? So that she will not fall in an ugly position of dishonor when she dies. When she dies? Mm -hmm. Yes, Shinju. Tomorrow, about a twack doctor down the dumb by the docks. What? For eight bucks, he slashes her eyelids and sews them back up again. Lots of these stupid little jerks have it done. She was going to surprise me. Oh, well. Man, then I have good eyes. I fool everybody. I look American like Joe. to taxi his plane to the edge of the apron. And the Japs made a direct hit on it. Maybe you read about it in the papers. He was awarded the Silver Star. They sent it to his mother. She wrote me she wanted me to have it. That's very fine of her. Well, they're very fine people, Southern people. Oh, she has a mother, also a father. They do not know this country any better than she does. And you do not know it at all. Girls here are free to have fun. She is in America now. Puerto Rico is in America now. Ooh. Sometimes I don't know which is thicker, your skull or your accent. Hmm. Oh. oh, even if you didn't have all that here, why would you want to go back to Puerto Rico? Ah, it's so good here. It's so good there, we had nothing. <laughs> ah, we still have nothing, only more expensive. <laughs> uh, 